Hello, hello again. Welcome back. We're going to talk about Microsoft, uh, also reported earnings. My previous video was about uh, Google, which did uh, okay. I mean, not terrible, not great. Uh, increasing revenue, less net income, though, from the previous uh, quarter of 2021, Q1 2021. But uh, overall, it was okay, I guess. A little bit worse than expected, I suppose. But uh, of course, you would see an overreaction right now. The markets are being very, very negative, especially towards the, towards the Nasdaq technology. You would come to expect that uh, when there is an inflationary period, it, it tends to happen that tech stocks could go down. And uh, they have a lot of these have been overpriced over the years. Uh, Google is not such a case, of course, but, you know, it drags the whole market down. Now, in this one, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft and what they reported. So let's take a first look at the stock news here. You will see that Microsoft had an impressive quarter is what they say over here. And uh, I agree with that. And if you take a look at the earnings, let's open up this article. You will see the, what happened with Microsoft. So in the, the expected revenue, actually, uh, was um, the consensus was 49.03 billion. And uh, Microsoft actually did 49.4, an increase of 18% year over year, which is amazing. This is uh, pretty much uh, awesome growth in terms of revenue. Because imagine if the company grows uh, uh, its revenue 18% uh, every quarter. Imagine what happens for the year. That's a lot. So the net income improved by 8.2% to 16.73 billion and EPS improved to 2.22 from 203. So practically speaking, if you ask me, this is almost a blowout quarter. This is a very, very good quarter. And um, they are increasing pretty much all their revenues and bottom line. And you can see here what, how this happened. And pretty much all of these are increases from all their projects. You will see the word increased everywhere here. And uh, they returned 12.4 billion to shareholders as well in the form of share repurchases and dividends in the quarter. Amazing as well, especially the repurchases is the thing that I love. Um, dividends are okay, but I much, much more prefer repurchases from the company, basically buying back shares. And so, yeah, pretty much an amazing quarter. And as you will see here in the price action, Microsoft shares are trading lower by 1.51% by is what happened initially. And uh, this, of course, makes no sense, uh, no sense at all, apart from the fact that it's pretty much a sympathy play to Google, what happened with Google and the overall market and the negativity that surrounds the Nasdaq. And uh, the thing is, this kind of... Uh, you know, price trend and market trend can be a fantastic opportunity for buying. And this is what I have done myself. Uh, finally, right now, Microsoft is actually doing what it should be doing. It's actually up right now after hours 1.62. That makes more sense, although it should be up more, I feel, because the blow, the quarter was a blowout. It looks looked amazing to me. So the thing is, I'd love to get out a Microsoft, but the problem with Microsoft is that it was uh, overvalued. Is this still the case? I remember it being overvalued. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here. We, I will probably examine it in a separate uh, video, actually. But for now, I wanted to quickly jump to the stock evaluation tool and see, based on what the company is doing in terms of revenue, whether it makes sense to buy the stock right now. And you will see that the average um, revenue growth here is 14.62 uh, in the fi last five years. You have it here as well. And uh, we can use projections of like 14 over here, 16, and maybe go a little bit more like 18 over here. Now, the net income margins, we can go something like 25, maybe 28 and 31, based on these values again. The free cash flow margin, we can go something like 90, 100 and 110. And the annual return that we typically want to make is 13%. Uh, and if we hit calculate, let's see what we're getting here. Look at the current price, 270. It's probably going to go a little bit more because it's like 1.5% higher. I assume that it's going to grow higher as well because, uh, again, the quarter was amazing. And uh, however, based on the estimates that we're having here, we are off what we'd like to see. We're way off. So we'd like to, a much, much better price. And this is why I myself could not see, my, could, could not see me getting uh, equity, getting stock from Microsoft right now, just because it's overpriced for what I want to buy, what I want to get. And even though it uh, keeps increasing in terms of its after hours, it's actually almost 2% right now. I just can't see myself buying because I deem that it is actually overpriced night right now based on the financials. Fantastic company, but I'd like to get it at a cheaper price is my thing. Now I did buy Google like, like last week or so, 
And uh, I have uh, bought uh, Facebook quite some time ago, actually, but at a, at a good price. We're approaching the, this price, actually. I think I bought it at about 158 back in the previous uh, um, scandal, like uh, the Cambridge Analytica scandal, if you remember. Right now, let's take a look at Facebook. Uh, Facebook hasn't reported anything yet. Let's take a look at what's happening here in the after hours. This is a sympathy play. This is happening when the whole uh, the whole Nasdaq is down because of the price action of a single stock, uh, Google, right now. Which again, remember, Google had a, you know a slight miss, really, practically speaking. And uh, even even if that happened uh, with Google, you can see that a company like Meta, which is completely different company, is down because of the sector, uh, because of uh, what is happening pretty much in the Nasdaq. And so you are seeing that uh, there's going to be probably some sell-off uh, for Meta as well, even though this is probably not making much sense. And also we're going to be having Meta earnings today, uh, actually in a few hours, I believe. So um, we'll see how that uh, how that works. But again, you are going to be seeing a little bit of a price uh, activity here, a little bit of activity here in terms of price, because again of uh, Google slightly missing on uh, you know the expected um, uh, report. So that's what I wanted to talk about in terms of Facebook. I generally speaking wouldn't uh, recommend people to panic because I'm seeing that uh, results here are normal. In previous uh, previous years, this would probably be increases in <laughs> Google would probably not even move here. This is a very, very slight miss. I I mean, I, I don't even understand why people would sell, but I am here to buy for them. So, you know, I can actually continue accumulating a little bit because I, I have examined Google in the past and uh, I know that it's uh, sitting at a valuation that is definitely 100% a buy for me. And same thing with uh, Meta, I'd love to be able to get my hands on Microsoft, it's overvalued for me right now, and so regardless of the price action, I, I have to wait. And this is the most important thing about an investor, you have to be uh, patient and wait to get for the proper opportunity to grab some stock. And this opportunity, normally speaking, tends to happen when things are not going well, supposedly, for a company, when they are reporting earnings that are not expected when the price goes down, when you see a sea of red, this is when you buy and wait and just let time do its thing. So thank you for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you a little bit. Analyze what's going on in the markets right now. You need to be expecting a little bit of a downturn for the Nasdaq as well. Keeps continuing, keeps happening. Not a huge deal. A fantastic discount season. I'm buying myself and uh, yeah. I think it's a, it's a good opportunity to accumulate for the next years. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.